Step your right foot forward. Come on to fingertips. Rise and bring your hands to your hips. Settle your front knee to a square. Okay? And then as you settle your front knee to your square, stretch your arms out to the side and support somebody from their upper back. So you're just taking your arms out from the side, from the upper back, not the shoulders, right below the shoulder blades, right below the shoulder blades. Now using your hand from the back of their body, lift them so they get lifted through their chest. Keep the lift of the chest, but bend your, bend your front knee deeper. Oh, 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 this middle row in the back, they're rocking it. The rest of you guys on holiday, man, bend it deeper. There you go. Stretch your back legs super strong. Jenny's rocking the house. Now lean back, lean back. Your partners are supporting you. Keep them lifted to the heart. Stretch to your back leg. Good. Come back to center and step to plank pose. Nico and Danielle, you guys got a... I forgot to take that into account. <laughs> Good. Downward facing dock. Press it all the way back. Step your left foot forward. Good. Rise and bring your hands to your hips. Good. What's your name? Rafael. Can I say it with an accent? It sounds sexy. Rafael. Okay, Rafael. Okay. So as you settle into the front knee, make your back leg stronger and straighter. So what I love about that pose is even if you're tired, you can't give out because you're holding it for somebody else, right? That's what community is, man. That's where our power comes from. Take your arms out. Reach from behind the heart. There you go. And if you don't have anybody behind, stretch your arms out. Yeah. Touch fingers even. Yeah. Touch your fingers. Yeah. Now bend deeper into the front knee. Nice, Nico. Stretch your back leg stronger and curl back. Curl back. Now get your back leg straight, brother. Stretch it straight. Stretch it straight. There you go. Now curl around your friend's hand. Curl around them. That's it. Come back to center. Nice job. Step to plank pose. Good job. Downward facing dog. Step it all the way back. Step your right foot forward. Come on to fingertips. Bend the front knee to a square. Okay. Rise and bring your hands to your hips. Same setup. Okay. All right. As you bend your front knee to a square, remember the lift that your friend gave you. Okay. Actually, we'll do it one more time. Take your arms behind the back of the heart. Now curl around your friend's hand. That's it. Keep your back leg strong and straight. Keep your head facing the direction of your heart. Press down to your legs and then start to release from behind your partner's back and stretch your arms overhead. Full stretch. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Lean back. Stretch back. Look back. Reach back. Bow forward and step to plank pose. Nice job. Good job. Downward facing dog. Press it all the way back. Step your left foot forward. Come on to fingertips. Quickly check the spacing of your legs. If you lost your balance in that last pose, most likely your stance was too close, side to side. Rise, bring your hands to your hips. Good, Raphael, hands on the hips, brother. Shoulders back and nipples lifted. <laughs> ah, he knows what I'm talking about. He's European, man. Uh, I, I assume <laughs> with a name like Raphael, I'm, it sounds so much sexy. Eh? Take your arms out to the side. Support your neighbor from behind, okay? And then curl back, lean back. Lift them up. Lift them up from the back of their heart. Bend deeper into your front leg. Now use the power of the legs to keep you steady. And then float your arms right overhead. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Strong legs, man. You got it, Alan. Lean back. Stretch the back leg stronger, straighter. Reach back. Look back. Good. Bow forward and step to plank pose. Oh, my goodness. Alan, Alan we got a yogi down. Downward facing dog. Press it all the way back. Great job. Step your right foot forward. Spin your back foot flat. So the back foot, the toes are going to be pointing towards the door you came in through. Okay? Now, check that the bones of your legs are actually in the same line. So if you're on a tightrope, you would want them on the same exact line. So if you have, Tiffany, that line in your mat, you want both legs on the same line. Good. On your next inhale, rise and bring your right forearm onto your right thigh. Take your left hand to your hip and open up your chest towards the side. There you go. Now this pose, it just aligns the body sideways so you have reference with your shoulders. Take your shoulders back, align your head with your heart, and open to your chest. 
Remember the pose that they were just supporting you from the back of the heart? Do the same thing here. Start to open through your heart. Stretch your left arm overhead. Reach for the front of the room. Full stretch. Now, we spent a little bit of time of creating unity in the body in terms of form. Now, how do you use that form? How do you carry it? Stretch it to your top arm. Yeah, man, that's it. Use the power of your legs to lift you to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. The upper body comes vertical. The arms stretch forward and back. And your upper body just settles into the middle. Take a glance down at your front knee and just make sure it's over the ankle. I know you're, you're starting to burn in your legs. I don't care, okay? I say soften the eyes. There you go. Bring your right forearm onto the thigh. Take your left arm overhead. Reach for the front of the room, palm face down. Again, Nico, awesome. Danielle, beautiful hands, man. Awesome. Good, last one. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Now settle deeper into the front leg. Settle deeper. That's it. That's it. You guys are skiers, man. You got tight asses. Strong, sorry, strong asses. Uh, strong legs. There it is. Good. Step to plank pose. Top of a push-up. Sometimes I get stuck. There you go. Downward facing dog. Press it all the way back. That's okay. I'll stay away from the speakers. Step the left foot forward. Spin your right foot flat. And then quickly check out the alignment of the legs. Get them in the same line. If you have one of those lines down your mat, you would put the bones of your legs in the same exact line. That's it. Good. Inhale to rise. Bring your left forearm to the thigh. Take your right hand to your hip and open up your chest towards the sidewalk. That's it. Take a longer stance left. A little bit longer. There you go. Bend the front knee. Forearm on the thigh. Support yourself. Yeah. And come into a little bend just like she's doing. You can lean in. Yeah. Stretch your right arm overhead. Reach for the front of the room. Now press down to your back foot. Press down to your back foot as if you were trying to, if you had a, like a, uh, something underneath your foot and you were trying to drag it forward, push down and pull it forward and use the power generating your legs to stretch your top arm. That's it, full stretch. Inhale to rise, for your Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Is it Chuck? Is it Chuck? Smile, dude. This is yoga, man. There you go. Keep your front knee over the ankle and just get your upper body vertical. Stretch out through the bones of the arms. Bring your left forearm to the left thigh. Stretch your right arm overhead. Full stretch, Chuck. Reach it, man. Reach it, reach it, reach it. Stretch to your legs, bro. Stretch your legs and stretch your arms. This push down. This is stretching. Good. Inhale to warrior two. Arms right in line with the shoulders. Beautiful smile. Good. And step to plank pose. Here. Set the shoulders directly above the wrist. Press to your feet and hold. Notice where you collapse first. Is it physically? Is it mentally? Are you wishing that you were out to dinner with a friend right now? <laughs> and then we start to count. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Downward facing dog, child's pose. Nice job. <laughs>